What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan the Gaming. Back with another commentary, and I'm playing that Far Cry 3. Um, this is like my fourth game playing it. I was just trying to learn some stuff, and I still didn't know what I was doing in this game. I don't even know what game mode this is or what I was supposed to do. I was just following people on the screen and seeing where they were going on my team. That was pretty much how I got down. But um, this game, man, this this game really needs to be optimized better because uh, you could tell it was a port. Because looking at the graphics on this game and how it runs on my game, I'm on my PC. Like this game is ugly. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game is ugly. It's supposed to have DirectX 11, but I don't even see DirectX 11 textures. I don't see tessellation and anything. It just looks pretty nasty looking and graphic wise. But it, it it gives a nice little hit on my computer when Battlefield 3 and Crisis 2 and 1 look way better in this game, and I could perform better on those games than I could perform on this. That is a problem, but like I said, this game is not graphically pretty at all. It looks like uh, a low-end shooter that I played before. Um, it's not pretty at all. Now I see, I know it has all the shrubbery, but you know, Crisis One has a lot of shrubbery, and I still run that better than this game, and it looks a lot better. But um, anyway, I was thinking of doing a let's play to this game. If you want to see the let's play, leave in the comment section if you're subscribed to my let's play channel. Like, yay, take do a Far Cry Three let's play. I'm ugly. Like, say that in the comment section, and that'll let me know that you want to see it. Don't put, yay, I want to see Far Cry 3, and you ugly, or tick you ugly, anything like that. That's going to let me know that you don't want to see it. You got to put it exactly the way I said it. Like, yay, Far Cry 3, I'm ugly. Yeah, do that, and I know that you want to see a Let's Play of Far Cry 3 on my channel. All right, so, anyway, man, this commentary is going to be about a video I just watched from uh, someone from the hate community. That's what we consider it, the hate community. You know, these guys just get on. Um, they're supposed to be about gaming, but you never see them posting any games on their channel. They only do vlogs about gaming. That is how they do it. You never really see these games that they so-called play or talk about. So, this guy was talking about uh, PS4. Now, these guys hate PS4. They hate Sony. They're Xbox fanboys and drones. And they pretty much just uh, try to find any dirt they can on Sony, the Wii U, anything that's not Xbox, basically. Um, and so they decided uh, a few days ago to try to find a room on PlayStation. PlayStation was rumored to only use 3.5 gigabytes of RAM towards gaming. And the rest was going over to the operating system. This was uh, um, said by the Euro Gamers or whatever they're called or whatever. I forgot, but some website. And today it turned out to be false. They have another person rumor uh what a rumor is talking about that sony is only using seven gigabytes towards games and one to the operating system now this was a video he put up talking about exposed towards sony because he said they lied um they really didn't lie because they said they have eight gigabytes of ram in their their sony on uh, the playstation they didn't say how much was going to games or even if they did i don't remember hearing it but even if they did Seven gigabytes is more than enough compared to you know Xbox who confirmed they came out and it was confirmed that Xbox is only using five gigabytes to their gaming and um, three to the operating system, which is retarded because PCs don't even use more than a gig to run the operating system. You dig? Now let's let's go back to the whole Sony thing. I have a game of PC, right? Um, I have eight gigs of DDR3 RAM in it. Now, let's talk about PlayStation. PlayStation is using DDR5 RAM. Now, I don't even know how they even got that because mostly, you know, most of the time DDR5 is for, you know, graphics cards. Not sure how they did it with GDR5. But they got somehow, I think they said DDR5. I'm not sure how they did it. But because I don't even think that exists. But, you know, they have that. Even if it's DDR3, they have 8 gigs of DDR3. So. They're going to be using 7 gigabytes of that towards gaming. Now, mind you, on the PC, I have 8 gigabytes, but no games utilize more than 4 gigs of RAM. No, no game does. And these games look way far superior than the ones you see on PS3 and Xbox 360. And mind you, the Xbox 360 and PS3 only use 512 megabytes of RAM. Not gigs, but RAM. I mean, megabytes. And they pretty much kind of, kind of keep up. Kind of. Um, keep up with the PC performance. They're not as good graphically and and frames per second wise, but they they're able to do it. <laughs> you know, they can still somehow produce it. So think about it. The, that means the PS4 is more future proof than the Xbox uh, One is because as the years go down the line, you know, 
games are going to start utilizing more and more RAM once the, the you know the graphical power and the extensiveness of the game um, becomes a bit bigger because mostly mostly what you want RAM for is it's basically it's just random access memory so it's basically it helps the game store memory up to more spots and it makes it go a lot faster so basically what it helps you with is you know low times and and running things a little little smoother but it really it doesn't help you with graphics and that's the problem these guys are like focusing on graphics and stuff like that when it doesn't really help you with that what it's going to mainly help the ps4 and the xbox one for is like opening up tabs and things like that and making it so it doesn't lag or anything while you're doing it and these guys you know these guys who spread all these rooms and stuff like that have no idea how all this stuff works mind you the guy who put the video up he's already been in a skype call with a few of my homeboys and they literally heard him talk about he built like a five thousand dollar computer right but he came out and said he has no idea how pcs work or knows nothing about them he just saw the price of it he just threw them in his thing because it was expensive he was basically flexing with a pc so this is the guy that these guys are taking information about tech from <laughs> who clearly knows nothing Okay, like I don't even know much, but I know way more than him. Like that's, that's insane, son. So that lets you know that his credibility is dead already. So it, you shouldn't even listen to anything homie says. But like I said, man, this this is not a bad thing. Sony is not exposed for this because seven gigabytes is well more than enough. Because no game reads over four anyway. And then when you think about the PlayStation Three and the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. You see how they only have 512 RAM and they were still able to make games pretty much playable. You dig? So that's not a bad thing. So that means that Sony is still more future proof than the Xbox One is. It's going to move a lot faster and better later on down the line. And don't use that cloud thing. Cloud is not anything that makes your 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 CPU run faster or your, your games have better graphics or run faster. Cloud is for saving only. So it's basically you save something. And you can go somewhere else and grab it on the fly. That's mainly what's, what cloud is. You're just saving something to a network. That's all it is. But anyway, man, leave some feedback in the comment section on how you feel about it. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. 7 gigabytes is enough. I mean, it's going to stutter later on in the years, but it's still going to be pretty good. But anyway, this is your boy Tick, a.k.a. Game Fanatic. I'm Michael Jordan, the gaming, and I'm gone. Bye!